so the key criteria is as much light as possible, um, as much air movement as possible, and uh, to avoid uh, shelter, basically, and not to overheat. So how do we to create a building in southwest London which tries to recreate those, that environment? So the first thing was to try and create a form which induced uh, some of those requirements. Um, as you can see, the building's got quite a bit of height to it. Now what that does is, as we all know, hot air rises and we have the stack effect. And as you can see, we've got either side of the house, uh, we've got grills so the air can just come in. And obviously during a hot day, the, the air that um, comes in there will get drawn out of the building because of the, uh, because of the stack effect. Obviously normal horticulture shading is rather like a Venetian blind but we felt with the, with the expressive form of the building we wanted to express that with the shading. Um, so we've, we've borrowed uh, technology from the yachting industry and we've created this uh, fan-like arrangement which is rather like a peacock's tail. We have about 7,000 plants in our alpine nursery, but these are plants that require protection from the winter weather or the summer weather, mostly from irrigation. What alpine plants need, some of them need dry winters and some of them need very dry hot summers. So what we're trying to do is, is protect them from the soggy all year round British climate. All the other glasshouses at Kew really are there to protect plants from the cold weather, so they're warm and wet. This house is keeping the plants cool and dry. Why is it suitable that here? need a dormant period and their growth is triggered by by rain well the sustainable aspect of the, of the house is very important um, and you know we've everything we've done we've done in this building has been to try to minimize the amount of energy um, in, inherent in the building 